A month after all the civil unrest and violence began, Baltimore City officials are now facing the reality of paying for all of that damage. Yeah, the move, uh, city's moving forward with a plan to dip into the rainy day fund to put that sizable bill. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring is live at City Hall tonight with more details. Vanessa. Well, dipping into that rainy day fund is the only option because of bad timing. With just five weeks left in the fiscal year, measures to control expenses simply wouldn't raise enough cash. And tonight, we've got to look at just how much the city will spend. The Baltimore City Police, firefighters, Department of Public Works, and more worked around the clock during civil unrest between late April and early May. <laughs> Some city property was damaged, stores were looted, and neighborhood buildings went up in flames. Now we're getting a look at the price tag for the extra manpower and cost to rebuild. It's $20 million, so we know that that's something that we would, no one would want to have to pay out that money, but we, you know, we have to find that money to make sure that we put our city back to, to the other again. The Board of Estimates is being asked to approve the use of up to $20 million from the Rainy Day Fund to cover the cost. It's too late for money saving measures, according to the Bureau of Budget and Management Research, and the city doesn't have any extra cash left over from last year. If uh, unrest and events like we had aren't rainy days. I don't know what is. So I think that uh, even though we would never want to use the rainy day fund, we, we could say this is a very much so a rainy day for the city of Baltimore. The economic impact of the civil unrest extends much further, according to city controller Joan Pratt. She says 300 businesses have closed, which means less income tax revenue. Pratt also cites lost hotel, admission, and amusement tax dollars after she says conference organizers decided to move their events out of Baltimore. Support local businesses. Try to keep that money within the city of Baltimore. Uh, when you're getting your roof fixed, use city of Baltimore businesses. If you're getting new air conditioning, use city of Baltimore businesses. Whatever you can do to benefit the city of Baltimore's businesses, please do that because we know that they were hurting during this time. The BOE is scheduled to meet Wednesday. And that rainy day fund has to be replenished within five years. The city has applied for a partial reimbursement from FEMA and is also expecting a significant surplus from property tax revenue. Those funds would then be applied to the rainy day fund. Reporting live outside Baltimore City Hall, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.